This guy hasn't got like any bigger, but there's like there's like a film on him. So I know I just can't drink that water anymore now. Okay, we could we could watch this guy. I have no idea like what he does though. Her son can't stop growing at night. Chat, should I kill lights? Most people are saying yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We'll kill lights. We'll kill lights. We're gonna make it a spooky one. They're going to make. Oh, oh, okay. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. <laughs> Those bones, they don't fit into the skin anymore. Dude, go, go. Dude, <laughs> okay, so uh, I've already gathered this is like parody, but it's almost like very high production parody, right? Is is that is that what's going on? Hello, Lux Army. Let's hit 100,000 likes. <laughs> Has he got makeup on to look that sleep deprived? He's the only person I've seen that has worse bags under his eyes than me. I like how he's got the influencer pop up as well that literally every single person has. Hey guys, it's me, Jake Paul. It's me, Jake Paul. What's up, man? We received an email from a woman named Candace, a 50. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Any any semblance of this not being an ironic shit post has just gone down the drain. Now you called her Candace, man. Come on, bruh. Three-year-old mother who believes they're something horribly wrong with her son. Candace says her son doesn't talk to her anymore and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where he can barely fit in his clothes. You know, I love so much about like American YouTubers. They all talk with that same cadence, right? It's like, so today I'm going to be doing this thing and it's going to be really crazy. Like, so crazy, guys. You have no idea. She sent us this video for proof. Okay. Tommy... I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? What? Wait, wait, what? What's the dinner? Just a plate of like corned beef. Go for proof. <laughs> average, average British cuisine. Average British cuisine. Tommy, Most well cooked food in the UK. <laughs> so tonight we've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. Let's go. Okay, so from what she said in the email, her son's been growing. I can't, bro, I can't even tell if this is like pawns here acting or they're on that many levels of irony. They're purposely like stunting their acting ability. Super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just- Like this acting reminds me of the Bruce Willis films that I reviewed like a couple months ago, right? Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, fine. Bro, th this makes the conversations in the Mandela catalog look like it's like look like it's Oscar worthy, man. These are terrible. Bro, this is like so crazy. I have no idea what's going on, bro. It's like insane, you know, bro. Like wow, bro. I didn't even notice this. Why is he wearing blackout sunglasses at like 10 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> Why is there like a separate camera angle just from knocking? It's not even in frame. <laughs> I really like this. I really like this. Th this reminds me a lot of, do you remember Arcade Craniacs with the Among Us thing? This reminds me a lot like that. L like it's something that's still trying to entertain kids, but it's on like a very like high level of irony. Hi, uh, you emailed us about your son? We told you we were coming tonight? Okay. Uh, we can come in, right? Okay. It's just so obviously his mom. That's genius. She didn't know we were coming. Candace, is your son home right? What, what, why does this remind me of the, uh, you, you know, in Resident Evil 7, when you find the videotape and it's like all the guys working at the news station, like all talking to each other. And it's just the most like contrived dialogue ever. It's like, she's literally in earshot. Bro, this, this woman could like be crazy, bro. I don't know, bro. No. He said, I stink. Uh, okay, uh, let's just- This is- this is great. Video, okay? This- this is really good. I like this. This is really good. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's- he's still my boy. He, he just doesn't talk to me anymore. I mean, I can see you're very concerned about him, which is, you know, a good thing, but when did all this start happening with him? After Michael passed. Bro, I feel like I'm in a fucking AA meeting right now or something. This acting is horrendous. He just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. <laughs> well, you mentioned that his father passed away. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? Among us? It's grieving. It's physical too. What do you mean by that? I love my son. He's my whole world, but 
This isn't my time. I actually think the name Candice has been destroyed more than Karen. I, I genuinely think there would still be some people on Earth who name their child Karen in current year. But Candice is just like, it, it's gone. It, it, it's been completely obliterated and there's just no coming back from it. Okay, let's go talk to Tommy. Are you ready? Yeah. Tommy? Has he got a sticker of himself on the side of his camera? Yeah, he actually, he's got a Tommy? sticker of himself on the side of his camera. Are you feeling all right? Your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. You know, you know, the worst thing is this is going to scare me. This is definitely, this is definitely going to scare me because even though this is like a parody series, I ju I, I'm such a bitch for jump scares, man. So we can talk face to face. Yeah. We should go. We gotta go now. <laughs> I like how it's just so obvious. It's so obvious a mask and then a chroma key as well. They just didn't even try. Okay, I, I love uh, this man. I, you know, what this reminds me of if there was a light timeline of J Station where he wasn't a complete piece of shit and he was actually like a nice, humble guy and he'd do like self aware pranks. This is what J Station would have made. If you want to talk more, Chester and I will be here all night. Dude, I gotta talk to you. Okay, come on, go over here. Dude, did you see his face? What was that? I, I don't know. I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It, it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How could that be a grieving thing? These guys have two emotions. The, the guy with the blackout shades is like actually Why concerned and frightened. And then the, the main protagonist is like, I don't know. He could be grieving, which is like crazy, you know? Lamau? Wearing a mask. I have no idea. It no, guys, we're not having dream mask comments. Come on, How you're better that than that. Be a grieving thing, dude. I don't know. I mean, we came here to set up cameras, so why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set up the cameras. This is like the poor man's phasmophobia. Yeah, good luck capturing anything with a GoPro, bro. Good luck capturing anything. Guys, I saw a ghost at three FPS. Oh, dude, it smells so bad in here. Okay, I gotta hide this thing. Yo, hey, what's this? Dude, there's like some sort of like meat or something here. Dude, don't don't mess with that. <laughs> Dude, what's the problem? Did he? How did they move that? Oh wait, it was on like a. No, no, you can see it's on a string. It's. Hang on, let, let me let me move my camera. It, it's on a bit of string. On um, yeah, it's on a bit of string, and they, they they just literally pulled the string. Dude, just moved. Huh? The meat just moved, bro. What are you talking about? Let's just go. I set the camera. Why, why are you streaming on YouTube? Because someone at Twitch took my uh, sub button away. So I, I just can't make any money off Twitch. L l there's literally no point being on that website if you don't have a sub button. Hi, uh, Candace, can we put a camera in your room? You know what she reminds, she reminds me of the mom from Resi 7, right? You know, you know the crazy one? She even looks like her as well. Like I know it's just obviously the guy's like mom, like actual IRL mom. Candace, listen, it's all right, okay? Candace, you've, you've had a worldwide joke made in your name, which may make you legally want to change your name, but it's okay. We're here for you. Dear Pyro, you don't give yourself enough credit. Your content could be about anything at all and still succeed because your success comes from your personality and humor. Is that it? There's no way that was the whole dono. I mean, that was a GLaDOS dono. That was going to be some snide shit. You, you know what, guys? I want to say what one thing you've done to me. I actually get anxiety whenever I get a GLaDOS dono now. You've conditioned me to have anxiety whenever I hear Ellen McLean's voice as GLaDOS because I think I'm going to get roasted into ob oblivion. I have actually been conditioned to fear that woman's voice. Why are they sleeping together? <laughs> <laughs> okay, based. They gay. They gay. Nothing wrong with that. They gay. They gay. What the hell? I don't like that. Was he jerking off or something? Chat, what's he doing? Oh my god. He got long. Average 5 foot 11 male. I can't even tell if Candace is dead or not. They just film like a skeleton. Just not moving at all. I'm convinced that's just a still image. That's not even a video of her. Uh-oh. Oh lord, he coming. Oh my lord, baby Jesus. He is coming. I feel like I'm walking through a UK home with how tall he is and how cramped the space looks. Wait, she isn't a still image. She's real? What the hell? What is that? Is that like a tongue? Oh, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, what the hell? So she's like possessed now or something, right? Is she possessed? 
Oh, fuck. He looked at the camera. That actually scared me. I really hate how that scared me. I was looking at chat and then I, I actually looked back and he was looking at me. That that, hey, that so actually got me. That really scared right me. Now. Shit. Dude, did you oh, God. Last night? Fuck, I got goosebumps now. Maybe. Why? I don't know. Maybe I had a weird dream. Okay, well, can you go wake up Candace? You're watch. <laughs> Candace. All right, I'll go wake up. Candace. Oh god damn. Are you okay? She been playing in the oil. Uh we need to get up. It's it's morning. Why would you <laughs> It's like this. We need bro, we need to get up. Ma'am, it's seven in the morning. You need to get up. I am harassing you in your own home with a flashlight. Like if you had like a, a phone camera, I'd get it. But like the, the full on like Dolby flashlight attachment on top, man. You're just like flashbanging this poor fucking old woman. Oh, oh my god. My legs high. Parker! Parker! What's the problem? Dude, Candace, what, what's wrong? Dude, I was harassing oh, this woman out of bed and then she Candace, fell. You... How sleep deprived are you? You spelled your name wrong in the tags. Did I actually? Chat. Chat, I spelled my name wrong in the tags. Pyro Cical. I'm a moron. Oh my god. He's going into my room. <laughs> oh my god. There's just something so good about that act. Like, like the, these guys either under deliver or give so much ham, they could open like a bacon factory. What's wrong with my son? Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. Someone in chat said this is like an A24 film. No, 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 it's not because like things have actually happened here. Like all of this that's happening now in an A24 film would happen in the last like five minutes of the film. Bro, what the hell did we just watch? Why doesn't she want to call the police? Dude, I don't know. That was horrifying. It looked like he was so does this does this not remind anyone of like cutscenes in Resident Evil One? Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! <laughs> the acting they're giving in this video is no different. Is no different from Resident Evil. Don't open that door. Try to get some sleep, okay? I'll watch your footage in the morning. Okay, I just want to be okay. I understand that, but right now I need to worry about you too. I love it's so impersonal. Eh? That, that there's definitely a level of irony here that they're, they're doing on purpose, or they don't know they're doing because there's something so impersonal about someone saying everything's gonna be okay, like we care about you, while holding like a camera, like filming them for content. There's something so like anti-personal about that. It's great. Get some sleep, all right? We'll talk in the morning. Good night. Bro, you can't tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? All right, look, obviously I'm not comfortable with this, but what are the other options? We can leave. Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. All right, but the second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Are they going to sleep again? Whatever. Are they going to sleep together again? They gay. They gay. We like it. We like it. They gay. They baby. He's going to be in the room already. Oh, one hundo. One hundo. He's going to just teleport or something. That, that nearly got me. I was kind of expecting it though, so I didn't really... He might just go into the boys' room, right? Just joins like snuggles in the middle. There he is again. Mr. Toolboy. Oh, he's angry. He's quite angry. I was going to say, how are they not hearing this man? Come on. <laughs> he went to sleep with the shades on, by the way. <laughs> Something's breaking. Oh my God, bro. Someone in chat said salad fingers. That's literally what this is, right? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yep. I, I actually feel sorry for this poor monster because he's going to get flash banged into oblivion with this guy walking around with this like fat 18 watt bulb. is dragging this woman probably to her death and he's there holding the camera in front of him for a reaction. <laughs> so I'm not going to film the woman being dragged to her death. I need, I, need to, I need to make sure I get a good thumbnail face for this. Bro, open it! Open it! This is great. This is, uh, this is so good, man. Oh, he gone. Is this your shirt? Where'd she go? Bro, I think Bro. we, I think we gotta get out of here, dude. Dude, did that guy take her? Do, 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 do. Is this, this guy XQC? Dude, we gotta find her. Do, 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 do. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. 
We drove home and contacted Candace's sister on Facebook. We told her Tommy took his mum and we couldn't find them. She told us that Candace told her Tommy died a year ago. What? Thank you guys for watching this episode. No, just, no, like, you're ruining the law. You're you ruining the immersion. Doing... Guys, I just filmed like a dead woman. She was like being dragged out and she like died. But if you could subscribe, we're about to hit 3.5 million, which is like really cool i am gonna uh end stream now thank you all so much for joining i really appreciate it the transition to youtube has been super super smooth i'm gonna talk to some of the mods now to make it even better for the next stream like fix all the tts and stuff like that but thank you all so much for joining uh, i will stream again tomorrow it's gonna be recording a main channel video tomorrow i'm gonna try and keep it daily on youtube now because i've actually got an incentive to but yeah thank you so much for joining guys and i will see you all tomorrow Hello.